Miss Kitty's husband, her new husband, Mr. Ian Wilkinson, has been on a losing streak of late. Sweet Jamaica, they were the greatest Prime Minister. You know, it's so my topic, that. And Jamaica, the whole hard working Prime Minister for the country of Jamaica and for the people. Eh? I'm not going to say about Iban's situation, his prayers will go out to your mama. We wish you and your uncle new band nothing but love and love. We wish you the very best. You understand me? Put a name never stop calling a top selector in the world. Some boy never locked on a fully loaded yet. I feel like say, they should have given a chance to fall without, you know? Because it's a powerful youth and him have a voice. And I feel say, if him come out, come talk to. The young youth, them, the youth, them, where, you know, we are fire up the can them and tell them to pull down the guns and all them things there. You know, see, it make them know, say, run away, I come from. It's not a nice place. Black like again, my viewers and subscribers. Hope everybody have been a lovely morning, a lovely afternoon, a lovely evening, and a great night, my viewers and subscribers. Hope everybody doing good. So, we have footer hype the viral king of Clark, Tony Mataran, and talk about a bag of things about Tony Mataran. He must also mention some good still. So, my viewers and subscribers, we have to stay tuned for that. I will also have Miss Kitty, ex husband, a Clark, Miss Kitty, and her present husband. And I say, you are hope them relationship. The man kind of style them in a way, still. I say, you so, Kitty new husband him not really get no case and the case them women get cause Kitty us Kitty husband right now is a liar Miss Kitty husband is a liar so they don't know say liar thing go already them have a win case so them can't get other cases so the man a clap Miss Kitty and her husband some of yours and subscribers wanna have to stay tuned for that I will also have a man come and talk about Andrew Owens and I say yo Andrew Owens can't present him money where man make from the being a prime minister of Germany Make a say he might hide the money and have the money lock off in a other countries and though have him house and certain assets in a theme name it then a company name so basically he must say oh andrea the money laundering and them something there is it but also have more updates for number viewers and subscribers so i have to stay and watch a video till it end car we can't really introduce everything on youtube so you see me i'll play some of the video then after i'm done talk so make sure you say like the video share the video tell a friend for tell a friend and make sure you say subscribe to my channel if you don't subscribe to my channel click the subscribe button right now and hit the notification Best you know, so by that way, anything I post, you get a personal notification every time I upload a new video. You will never miss a new updates. So, my viewers and subscribers, me, I get into it right now. So, make sure you say watch the video till it ends so you can get the full understanding of everything. While I go on, so me, I get into the live right now. What I talk about people as much as me and Matter are not good like how we used to be good, we have to give him ratings and have to give him props. As a solar selector, an income maker could know say solar selector can make real money without the power so on and can reach too. Remember David Radig and them at the solar thing, but a joke, nobody never want to follow them and do it. And matter and everybody follow. When the man tell me, say, in Naga they are fully loaded, I got a man strapped with 10,000 US. Remember 10,000 US? No, we know. I want $1.5 million. You know. Remember that uh, 2002, you know. Matter and I got a man strapped and nobody come and fully loaded it. 10,000 US, you know. When we hear that, my head bust, you know. Me, me, I wonder if I read, me think I lie, the man I tell you, you know. Come and say, oh, see, let's figure 10,000 US. Oh, where? Which part? I never tell a lie. They go where him go a man strapped, you know. When him come back and me around the whole place, you know. Can he take fully loaded, destroy the whole place, you know. By matter and come back and me everybody at top of you know. So me glad in the go for the ten grand to you know. You never know. Cause remember the year before that, me met me entrance in a full road and tear on the place. And the whole place I say I would and you with you now. See? And we go for the next year in Ghana man's chat and me destroy the whole place. You scooby really man cabra and then and mash fifth element and mash up the whole you make know, Yo, I wish I can find somebody with them footage there. Here in the workplace, from that footer I can turn back. Footer I can name never stop calling a top selector in the world. Some boy never locked on a fully loaded yet. I remember saying, I hear them when Mataran come back, I still lock it. 
Remember, say when you lock them fully loaded, till me can't lock it no more. And then the next morning, me go to jail. Who do you know? Who remember going you know? Remember, say, me tear down the world fully loaded. And at that time, the whole world, for crown me king, me go to jail the next morning. Me tear down fully loaded tonight. As I wake up and go up on the road, less than 45 minutes, I go to jail. Two and a half months in a lock up. The whole of the glory of the water down. I want to remember, you know. I want to remember. Some, some of them were size up them now in the history, you know. They don't do nothing, you know. I remember some of the guys and everybody say, all right, we get rid of him now. Pussy, they can't come back, come run the place. As I come out of jail, I run back the whole place. One of the rammies night aside, I remember seeing the return of foot of hype. Yeah, dog, I'm not even on the chat. It's I don't even want to chat, chat, chat. We have history for sure. We have history for sure. Verse it. Don't know where you're Wednesday. Big up verse it. Don't know where your video drop now, people. You can check YouTube. Verse it, and you can tell them. When I keep party, I flirt them. You see? Ask women, I brought them because. Them kind of, my neighbor did know women, I, I, I do not speak to him, I hands them. A line gone around the road, you know. We are real star, you know. When we are keep my party at Soho, in Miami, a line gone around the road, you know. Big long line, you know, like people, like a, like a Jay Z, them people I come to see, you know. Remember one night, me and my parents had a party. In a Miami. He was keeping birthday party down on um, Ocean Boulevard. And I keep my party at Soho. Feel party ram, line gone around the road. And my party ram, line gone around the road. Remember Sean Kingston had the artist song in the world at the time. Oh, so beautiful girl. That's why I never work. She had me suicide. Remember Sean Kingston, they have a party. Just pull up. Big up Kalima, big up Mac 90, big up Mama Kingston. That's why I afraid Sean Kingston until the casket closed. Because the man have the biggest song in the world. In the Africa of my party, the man father my party. Big black Bentley outside. Back line long. I know Sean Kingston reached reach my party now. Remember, stop up, go on, chase, get stop, the party, mash up, everything. Feed the whole lamp and the money pan, and then who are a fight, a chin out there, be a problem. What are they, man? What are they do in our music? What are they do? What are they do? Me, here before that, I keep my party at Congo's down in Miami. Black. Nobody else can hold well. Munga, Anna Rebel, Tyrical, Movado. Flex in the complex. Ram. What 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 wanna do in our music? Which part of this what wanna do? We've been I do this. I will never stop doing this. I will hold the line. I will not shake it. We don't ground out. None of that. Yes, some viewers and subscribers. So, for the hype of the history of him and Tony Mataran, and I make the people them know say Tony Mataran make most selectors start go solo because every selector usually depends on sound and them little thing the song. So, viewers and subscribers, leave your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below. We are getting to the rest of the review. I must confess that I am very worried for Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty's husband, her new husband, Mr. Ian Wilkinson, has been on a losing streak of late. Miss Kitty's new husband is an attorney at law and he has been losing some high profile cases. I know say people not got to lose us. People only got to win us and as a lawyer you need to keep winning. It's not a good thing when you are lose as a lawyer. So I am wishing all the best for Mr. Ian Wilkins. Now I want him to find back his winning streak. Because you know, if you continue to lose and people stop coming to you, the money are going to dry up. 
I you know say Miss Kitty says she don't want a broke man. So me sorry for you, Massa. And you know, you know, start with again. I you know, keep the money rolling in. Me sorry for you. The latest case is a case involving Cabell Stevenson, who is Capleton manager. Cabell Stevenson was a, is a former manager for Tootsie Bird. And him sued the wife of the late Tootsie Bird. Him sued the wife and family of Tootsie Bird because they moved up on a computer hard drive for him. And Cabell Stevenson said, one on the hard drive because I'm a ball bump on the hard drive, but they don't want to go the hard drive. So him sued them. And they went to Miss Kitty's husband to represent them. And they went to the Supreme Court and lose. And Miss Kitty's husband appealed to the appeal court. And he lose on every ground of appeal. He don't look good. He don't look good. The next case is the case with Boots Stewart family. Boots Stewart family of a foreign and Boots Stewart family of Jamaica. A fight over Boots Stewart dead left. And Boots Stewart family in Jamaica went to Mr. Ian Wilkinson to represent them. And them Mr. Wilkinson write a letter to the Registrar of the Supreme Court. And the Registrar reject Mr. Wilkinson and tell him not following the proper procedure. He don't look good at all. He don't look good at all, at all, at all. Then Mr. Ian Wilkinson also went to the Privy Council in England, fly all the way to the Privy Council in England in another case. It's a case involving Mocha. Under the proceeds of crime act. A case involved a drug smuggler, a convicted drug smuggler. Mr. Wilkinson, Miss Kitty has been represented some people and he got to the Privy Council with Miss Kitty and then lose. Come out and they lose in him. When you is a liar, you need to keep winning. If you don't keep winning, people will stop coming to you. So me want Mr. Wilkinson to find back in Mojo. Me want Mr. Wilkinson to start win again. Or else me don't want to go. Me don't want to to the marriage. I am very concerned. I am concerned also about that little girl. I want her to have the best. I want her to have the finest things in life. I am also concerned about the Range Rover. That's why I keep my little bicycle. I keep my little bicycle anywhere I want to go, just jump on it and I go about my business. I keep things simple. But I want the best. But it is a lesson for all the women out there. All the women out there will target man for money. All the women will follow Miss Kitty. I talk about one and a broke pocket man. It is a lesson. For the whole of you know, that today you're winning, tomorrow you're losing. Today you're up, tomorrow you're down. And Mr. Wilkins, you better pray, say, him not meeting to any misfortune, like a traffic accident or a little thing happened to him and in can work. Because that would be the end of him and Miss Kitty. Ah, she said, you have to have money. You have to have money as a man. You have to have standards. Woman have to have standards. And you must have holy for money. She don't want a broke pocket, man. All of you, woman, will see so you don't dead with man for money. You don't feel married man for money. You don't, you don't have money, man. The money man can't broke tomorrow. And the poor man can't get rich tomorrow. You don't fool fool like. You don't so fool fool. One one nine. I must conf Yes and viewers and subscribers. So we have Miss Kitty ex husband is it I worry about Miss Kitty present husband. Man, I don't know how this my viewers and subscribers have be things me I tell us so the man worry about him ex wife marriage and I say I hope so the marriage really go together and really work out the right way cause Miss Kitty husband right now I hardly I get work in I'm lawyer work some of you and subscribers leave in the thoughts and opinion in the comment section below if you believe say Miss Kitty I got have the best life and the best marriage in her life more often or one I think my viewers and subscribers we are getting to the rest of the review have you ever asked yourself 
why is it the Prime Minister, who is approximately 52 years old, um, who has made a Prime Minister salary and MP salary and um, ministerial salary over his entire working life, because he's always been involved in politics um, at the representational level. I mean, he went straight from high school into um, electoral politics. He went to work for Mr. Siaga uh, for a year or two in a charity that he ran and then Mr. Siaga's office as assistant. And then he um, went straight into being an MP, you know, with no experience, no real world work experience, no nothing, but he became an MP. And he has been in that all his life and uh, his wife is, is, um, is an accountant. No, I have nothing against them personally. I'm just trying to ask you a question here. Um, how is it that he was able to make such huge amount of money from a political salary? And yes, we're told his wife was involved in investing. Well, a lot of the investments are in his name and his son's name, um, in massive properties, um, huge properties, you know, um, hundreds of uh, thousands of dollars, and hundreds of millions of dollars in property value. Um, why did he choose to incorporate a company overseas. He lives here in Jamaica. He has not gone and lived anywhere else. You know, I have lived overseas in Canada and come back to Jamaica. He has always lived here. He has been a part of Jamaican politics for, you know, some 30 years or more. Why do you see it fit to set up companies outside of Jamaica in tax haven areas where apparently he would want to escape paying the taxes here that he puts for us to pay, that he's a part of the governance structure that says this is the taxes that we are supposed to pay. This is how he wants us to set up companies here in Jamaica and rules that we're to follow here in Jamaica. Why would he want to set up his company to own and control his properties outside of Jamaica when he's the Prime Minister of Jamaica? Why would he want to do that? Now, that could cause you to be very concerned because these offshore companies um, and having accounts offshores and um, and having your the house you live in, the very house that you live in, is not in your name, but is in a company name um, that you incorporate overseas. Why would you do that as prime minister? I mean, I can understand any well-thinking, wealthy Jamaican would try to find ways to minimize their taxes. And, and plan to optimize their tax position. But if you are the government, if you are a part of the government, a very significant part, Prime Minister even, a member of the cabinet even, uh, you know, prior to that, a minister of government, you're a part of the structure, a part of the system that makes the rules and the laws. Why would you, as Prime Minister, want to have your house, your properties, your rental properties or your business developments, why would you want to have an overseas company, an offshore company, own and operate or control those assets? Why would you have confidence in your own country to put all of your investments here because you know what a great job you are doing and you have, you're very patriotic about your country and you're a part of the structure that makes the laws of this country. Why wouldn't you want to have all of your assets here in the country that you are influencing, that you are directing, that you are building, as you say? Why would you have less confidence in that and want? And why would you not want to pay the same taxes that you are forcing us to pay? Because if we don't pay it, you can lock us up or, you know, take away things and whatever. So why wouldn't you want to do the same thing? Well, I guess it's clear. Um, one set of rules for you and a different set of rules for the rest of us. You have no confidence in the tax system here. You have no confidence in the governance here. And so you want to have your business domiciled, incorporated somewhere else to maybe avoid the taxes here um, and avoid whatever it is that you don't like about this country, you want to avoid it and that's why you go overseas. Now, every Jamaican should question that and ask themselves the question, 
Why would I want to vote for such a person? Yes, and views and subscribers. So, the man basically, I say, is Andrew incorporating money and having money in a different bank and some trust fund business in a some different country. So, him avoid taxes in a Jamaica. And the man, I say, why him do that? And yet, still, him are the prime minister, him make the rules and uh, him really make the laws in the country because of him power the party a lead right now. And the man, I say, so why him would have him money over there in a some other country? You see it simply mean because him don't want him money for be investigated is it so it seems like him have gone with some type of money laundry and him not want the world for no well not the world we as jamaicans you see so viewers and subscribers i'm not want to think about andrew honest having money over there in a one different country and not in a theme country more for no one i think he never survives you know thing i go in front of the court business there somewhere around the drone for the side where the man go do but in my opinion, I may say, why do over 10 years already? And I feel like, say, they should have vibes a chance to forward out, you know? Because it's a powerful youth and him have a vice. And I feel, say, if him come out, come talk to the young youth, them, the youth, them, where, you know, where I fire up the car and them and tell them to put down the guns and all them things there. You know, see, it and make them know, say, Run away I come from is not a nice place and none of them wouldn't like to be around the so because round the so hell itself you understand me I say and with that I feel say the youth then we listen to him because he have a voice so in my opinion I would have said he beat up over 10 years already so give him a chance make him forward out and come make a difference in a society because sometimes Ones and ones have to learn the hard way, you know. Yeah, man. Because them say experience teaches wisdom. You know, see, wisdom not come from up above, you know. Mm -hmm. Wisdom come through experience and through vibes experience. They have to teach him wisdom. So come around, come talk to the youth, them. And say, you tell you to put on the guns, crime and violence to appear. You know, say that everyone, that's how I come from. Then we listen to him. Give him a chance. Yeah, man. Me, shocking Morris. Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So, Shakin Mori, I say your vibes cartel for day on road because him can teach the man them who are going with the foolishness and we have make crime rate arise in Jamaica. So, if vibes cartel come out and talk to enough of them man that we are going with them kind of behavior day in Jamaica, say the Jamaica can be a better Jamaica because vibes cartel have him influence and him have certain power over certain people. So, anything with vibes cartel, say everybody will follow. So, my viewers and subscribers, more for no one thinking in the comment section below. Leave on the time and open in the comment section below if you believe your vibes cartel can follow the road and change the youth the, the younger generation we are followed up right you know one for no one i think we are getting to the rest of the review sweet jamaica they are the greatest prime minister you know it's so my topic that and michael wallace hard working prime minister for the country of jamaica and for the people eh? yeah why not jamaica you know yesterday party and Mr. Walco Villa go put Alco Bridge in Alco Mission in actually Ashang Bridge in name. When name again? What the bridge name again from down so yeah have so we'll go PMP Ian is yeah one look a puppet bridge in car they can can a puppet you know he and is a puppet and even the man craft a puppet there my goal in my Indian puppet daddy <laughs> Yeah one on no Jamaica he and he is more and chat to him right now. He and he is if you stop spreading rumor and tell lie, like, you're a big man, you know. You're a big man, he and he is. I know you a long time. One time you come and I run chill and say you want to run for the candidate up here for the member of parliament. And who? We not drive you, you know, we run you out of a parish. Because you don't look straight, you look lean, you look like a fish. You see me? Yeah, you look like a fish, he and he is. And you're Gina, you want to lie at Bridget. You lie. Gina, so we say we now nah, work with you. You see me? Watch her now. When the PMP in a poor, you, I check say you was a minister of some water thing, you know. Yeah, you know that ministry. Natural. And anything where you come on the social media with a lie, me general, about, oh, who do buy water, chuck a weed, park like you want, put a whole heap of blame for the Prime Minister and Labour Party. You have one wicked corruption bridge, you know, you and his. You was member of parliament down and over and through your proper man's poor and you never love the people and just love yourself and build your big old house. 
You see me? You want to publish with the people and run you out. You understand me? Watch how long you remember a parliament you never know that the people have got a problem both the Anover and Westboro and the Negro. And if the Labour Party is not power now and the people and lick you out, you just want to put all blame on the Labour Party. Watch you now, when PMP is power, you don't buy some old Benz truck, you know. Old Benz truck. Wait, if there are some problem in the engine, I check on the gearbox. Problem. And it chuck them, the, I about to check about 100 chuck. And it chuck them don't give no justice to Jamaican people. No justice. They chuck them park up, you know. I check about 70 or 75 percent of the chuck them park up before Uno PMP government come out of power. In a, in, in a park of sense, Labour Party take over Jamaica, you know, it park up on Uno in a government. So Andrew Wall is done, nothing to do with those truck there. Because Uno will buy some old Benz truck where you can manage Jamaican road and hill and mountain and anything there. No good. Because old Brock Uno can't come to Jamaica, you know. Old Brock truck Uno buy, Papa. See me? And the truck them park up on when Uno in a government. So you can't blame Andrew Wallace. Blame yourself. Yeah, yeah. Sky, I check say you was minister of water, you know. You are, you are the puppet. You see me? Watch how long. All right. PMP in a power of over 50. I, I didn't rule Westmoreland for over 50 years. Yeah. From PJ, the whole of them. Carl Blight and the whole of them. Who never know that people have water problem down there? Eh? Who never know that the old pipeline? When he want to dig up and put in new pipeline, what make everything you know, come put down now? No, if government in like Israel Jamaica no give water to the people of Jamaica like the Labour Party government, no government. I have to speak the truth. He and he is a puppet, you know. He is a puppet. You come talk about Matthew Samuel and fly down in helicopter, you know. You are right in the water upon the river. <laughs> you know, come see how I'm you know. I talk about the next time Matthew Samuel come, if you come in a helicopter, if you drive, come down Pan River. So you have river from Kingston, come on, come on, uh, uh, Westmoreland, Negril. What a hypocrite you like your papa. No government no give people of Jamaica water like we. And right now the people of Westmoreland and Negril don't get water. They don't get what good water now, don't get, they don't get good water all the while, you know. But they don't get water. In a pipeline, cause we don't dig up all those pipelines were rotten and mash up. Them don't get water from the Marterbury Division, from Trelawney. See? Straight to St. James and from St. James to Anover go straight down. But you know, it don't take a little time. So right now, government does uh, supply the people um, with water and the water, chuck on the people in town. So the people should have to appreciate of that. People have do nothing for the people and water problem so much years in the office down there. People of Westmoreland said we Ian is neglecting people um, in a Hanover. Said him no neglect to the down there. He's a man of bugger mouth. He just like to talk. See, for him, hey, it's any of the elected as a member of parliament. Me have you know one year with him down there. Cause he lion general. He more sweet. He more sweet. He lion general Jamaica. So my people them, um, make a boy again in Fox Street style. Andrew Wallace no park up, no chuck up, then chuck with them by mash up from PMP in a pop. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, man, I like still another that money a delusion and contradict himself so much time every time I listen to him. He not have much sense still. You see, he does make film video for make the other side feel bad about themselves, which is the PMP, but him not really make sense with the way my talk said. So, my viewers and subscribers, you see what time I clock, you see what time I knock, I hope you can get out of here. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for liking the video. If you don't like the video, make sure you say like the video right now. If you don't subscribe to my channel, make sure you say subscribe to my channel right now. Click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and also by that way anytime I post you will never miss a next update you will get a personal notification straight to your phone every time I upload a new video so my viewers and subscribers I'm out